G'day guys, welcome to a... Okay. Welcome to the new Noel Comedian Game Tutorial. And this is sort of like a little toy that you make, that you can make in game. It's like, um, something for beginners. Um, we're going to be learning about opacity and, um, selections and stuff like that. Um, very basic tutorial and, um, I think it's pretty, the end result's pretty cool. Um, an interactive traffic light is what we'll be making today. So, um, I'll just start the screen recorder. See, here's one I just made. Um, I just um, I have only rehearsed this once, but I've been thinking about the tutorial for ages. So there's our traffic light. Nothing too um too fancy there. The back is just a, a black to dark grey gradient. And then we've got um the three colours. Now, what's special about this is if um if you can see my layers dialog here, I have um six circles. Now three of them are coloured, um, as you can see the, we got the red, the yellow and the green. But we've also got three white dots. Now if I were to click on say I want to turn the traffic light, the red light on, uh, just um, bring up the the white uh, light behind it. So the the eye next to the, each layer means um to um, reveal this layer. So if if I was to turn the the red off, um, click on the eye, it'll disappear, and then click on to reappear again. So um, each layer is on a, um, a, um, a low opacity, well seventy percent. So when you click on the light, the white behind it, it turns on. So that's quite cool. All right, so let's start with the tutorial. The current dimensions are one five eight by three eight six, but I'm just gonna make the default size. So six forty by four hundred should be there. Yep, four eighty. Sweet. And I have a grey background. That is okay. I will. Fix this up. Okay. Sweet. Okay. First thing we're gonna do is make a new layer, and we're gonna call this light back. And we're just gonna make an honest um, rectangular selection there with our um, rectangle selection tool. And we're gonna choose black as our foreground color. That's fine. We're just gonna change the white to a dark. Uh, gray and so the HTML notation for that is four five four five four five. Um, don't use that one. It's got the um, pictures of city kids and stuff on it. Don't worry about it. And the one for my super challenge is on in your computer. My pictures. Um, four five four five four five is the HTML notation, and just draw a line down just like that, that's fine um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the first traffic light so we're going to call this red white and we're going to use our circle select tool, our clip selection tool And that should be fine. Two, three, yep. Alright, and what we're going to do is we're going to fill this grey with white. And we're going to just, just fill the selection in with white. Now I'm going to duplicate that layer and auto crop. Sorry, I'll just auto crop that first layer. So layer, auto crop. And that makes the layer just the size of the circle. See, before we auto cropped it, it was the size of the actual image. So I'm just going to duplicate it. And this is going to be red color. And actually, I'm going to change that. Let's go yellow. Now we're just going to move this position, this yellow layout down to the center where the yellow traffic light will be. 
and now the green white and just going to move that down all right now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate each layer so just duplicate the red first I'm just going to before I do that I'm just going to position them correctly so red at the top green at the bottom and we're good duplicate layer and we're gonna what we're gonna do is go to our selection by color tool or just press shift O if you want to click on the red white copy layer and click uh, select by color make sure the copy layer is in front of the white and we're just gonna call this one uh, red color now that we've got that selection there go to the white and choose a nice red color just like on the color picker the gimp color picker just right at the corner is perfect um, now uh, we've got bucket tool here just fill it in with that and then we got a nice uh, red circle there yellow white duplicate and we're going to call this one yellow color selection wide color and she's a nice yellow again just rub the corner is fine and now duplicate the layer let's select that corner and fill it no worries now we're going to turn each color you're going to click on the red first opacity we want this to be 70 so just write 70 in the opacity box yellow same thing 70 and green 70 now just remember we're clicking on the color layers not the white layers and just click on the light black layer and I'm just going to probably should select none now what I'm going to do is shut off each yellow I'm um, sorry white layer now we have a pretty dull looking traffic light but the beauty of this of turning down the opacity is that um, the opacity for each colored layer is it's gonna when the white um, is turned on behind it it's gonna show and look it's gonna look like it's glowing um, so if I wanted to tell everybody to stop um, hit the the white layer the white layer for the red and it stopped it's um red shut that off green yellow and that is our GIMP toy ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching the tutorial I think that turned out pretty well um, I hope you guys um, hope that turned out pretty well for you guys um, if you want to crop the image just go tools transform tools and crop and this isn't if it isn't in your toolbox and just crop it press enter and you're good well thank you for watching the tutorial the uh, tutorial guys I'm not Hulk Media and I will see you next week uh... yeah I don't got this stop sweet see you next week